Hello, welcome to Double Strike Recap Spoiler Ahead. Today, I'm going to explain you a Western action film from 2008, Appaloosa. This movie begins with an explanation about the relationship between Virgil Cole, the gunman for hire and Everett Hitch, a grade 8 of Western Point who decided that the army is wasn't for him and he needed to discover himself in the wild, wild west. They had meet when Everett had backed Virgil in a gunfight about 12 years previously and since then, their friendship is inseparable. Everett and Virgil working in various towns as marshal and deputy. They are gunmen who only shoot when it's legal, when they are hired to be lawmen for towns that seem to have too many bad guys. Move to Randall Bragg, the largest rancher outside the town of Appaloosa, who with his men terrorize the town and implement their own rules. 2. The current sheriff with his deputies come to his ranch to arrest Bragg's men who murdered a man and his wife, but Bragg takes matters into his own hands and kills all three of them while a young man watching on in horror. So, the city fathers meet Virgil and Everett and accept Virgil's rules of the road, my way or the highway, no discussion or I'll move on the next town, Virgil said. The city fathers have no choice and after a few minutes there's disruption in a bar with two of Bragg's men urinating on the floor. Virgil and Everett warn them to stop or head to jail. But, they don't stop, nor do they want head on jail. They draw on Virgil and he kills them in the bar while Everett takes care of a third that appears out of a side room. Next day, Bragg and all of his men come into town and meet with Virgil and Everett in a small bar. Bragg offers some way of reconciliation with Virgil, but as the last marshal was Virgil's friend, he has none of it. It ends with a tense standoff and Virgil telling them that they can't even bring weapons into the town from then on. Allison French, fresh off a train with only a dollar to her name. Everett spots her first and then follow her into a small restaurant where Virgil having breakfast. Both men seem to want to court her, but Everett gives way to Virgil, who seems smiting. Once Virgil declares himself the city marshal, Allison smiles and flirts. In turn, Virgil promises her a gig at a local hotel where if she plays the piano, she might be able to stay for free, which is the only job available as she says she's not a whore. Back at the law office, Everett and Virgil talk about Ellie, what she likes to be called, a bit, with Everett egging on Virgil just a bit, but obviously letting, and encouraging, Virgil to pursue Allie. They then see some riders on top of hill that overlooks Appaloosa and decide to go to investigate them. When they get up there they have a mild confrontation, Virgil whacking one man with the butt of his pistol to make point that Bragg has no power inside or outside of the town. In a bar, Virgil's nasty temper flares and he attacks a rowdy man after he swears in Allie's presence. Virgil beats the man so badly, Everett has to stop him. It's apparent that Virgil is a man with a clear sense of right and wrong, not complicated by shades of grey. He doesn't let much get to him, but when he get upset, he is uncontrollable. Allie's looks really scared of it. Everett then apologizes to the man and gives him a drink. When a town father asks him why Virgil doesn't apologize, Everett explains that isn't Virgil and if they want the town protected, they'll have to take the good and the bad, as they hired the man. Weeks have passed and during breakfast, Allie comes down with Virgil, obviously they just slept together, and announce that Virgil is going to making her a house in town and they'll live there together. Everett is obviously surprised and little upset that his friend hadn't told him, but congratulates them. Breakfast is interrupted when Joe Whitfield comes in and says that he saw the killings and will testify. They cross-examine him and make sure the kid is up for the task. When it appears that he is, head out to get Bragg. They catch him in the outdoor privy and drag him back at gunpoint into town through his angry, but obedient men. Now comes the round-the-clock guarding of Bragg, who unfortunately has a cell right next to Joe and makes some threats that shake the younger man up. While Allie's house is slowly being built, Virgil doesn't know how to handle some of his requests and sends Everett to help her. When Everett gets there, Allie corners him and kisses him, but after a few seconds of enjoying it, he pushes her up and tells her that they're not supposed to do that to Virgil. Allie obviously stung and asks him to leave. Everett say nothing about it to Virgil but does to a Hispanic prostitute he has been visiting. She tells him that Ali eventually will tell Virgil about it and he should be prepared for it. Two other lawmen come into the office and said they came with the judge. They offers their help to watch Bragg and Virgil thank them and accept. 
Shelton brothers come into the town, they are very good hired guns. Virgil knows them but unlike him, they go out for legal and illegal purposes. After small conversation, Shelton's brother go to the hotel after witnessing Virgil and Ali go out for a country picnic in a carriage. The trial begins, while all of Bragg's men testify for him, the incriminating evidence presented by Joe, even Bragg's loquacious oratory that comes afterwards cannot save him. After testifying, the boy is told by the judges to get on his horse and ride out of town for his own safety, and the judge orders Bragg hanged in another city. As the sentences is handed, Bragg makes eye contact with the Shelton brothers. On the train everything looks normal but soon it stops for refill of water, the Shelton brothers appear on a dry riverbed under the train and show that they have Ali tied to a horse. They threaten to kill her if they don't release Bragg's. Virgil agonizes for a while and then gives up Bragg, but per the agreement, doesn't get Ali until they decide to release her. Virgil frustrated at losing his prisoner, and goes after them on foot while Everett goes back to town via the train to get horses. They meet up again after a day while Virgil has been tracking on foot the Shelton brothers, Bragg and Ali and now on horseback catch up to the group. They see a bunch of Indians coming towards the group and then Everett and Virgil see Ali frolicking in a river naked with Bragg. The two lawmen looks distressed but more worried about the Indians about to ambush the four people. The Indians ambush them and Virgil and Everett fight them off, killing one of the Indian horses in the process. Virgil then made a deal with the Shelton's brothers that they all will put aside differences until they are out of ambush range, after that they'll settle them. While Virgil and Everett were on guard duty, Ali appeared and sat between them, saying how scared she was and what a mistake it was. When Virgil asks Everett if he thinks she'd sleep around again, Everett replies that, Ali needs a man. Ali then tries to say that Everett touched her, but when Virgil asks Everett, he denies that it happened like Ali says. Virgil then makes it clear that he believes Everett's version over Ali. They wait a while, expecting to be attacked, but then Everett takes Bragg's expensive thoroughbred horse and gives it to the Indians, making peace with them and they head on their way. They come to a small town where the two brothers and Virgil decide to have their showdown. As Virgil and Everett rest before their shootout, Everett makes a note that Ali's not a loose woman, she just wants to be the woman of the stallion of the herd. The problem is, the stallion changes from time to time. Virgil still makes it clear that even with Ali being how she is, he cares for her and wants her. Ali comes in, obviously scared. When the men tell her that they're not scared because it's part of the job, she replies that she's always scared that she'll lose everything and have nothing. Virgil states he'll always look out for Ali, for as long as she needs him. As they walk over to the stockyards to have it out with the Shelton brothers, Virgil and Everett find out the town marshal they entrusted with Bragg is a cousin of the Sheltons. The marshal, Bragg, and the Shelton brothers get the drop on them, making it four on two. Virgil shoots one of the brothers and the marshal and Everett kills the other brother, but misses Bragg, who rides away on a horse. Both Everett and Virgil are wounded, but not fatally. Ali runs to Virgil's side, fearful that he may be dying. After a period of time, they finish building the house. Virgil's left knee was left permanently impaired and he wears a brace. They can even laugh a little at everything that happened, including Ali's indiscretions. The town's leadership tell them that Bragg was pardoned by the President of the United States, who Bragg had claimed to know, but everyone thought it was just a story. Some time later, Bragg arrives in town dressed like a gentleman, wearing a fine suit, announcing that he has reformed. He buys and refinishes the hotel. It is unclear if he got his money in an illegal way. He tries to make peace with Virgil, but the man will have none of it and Bragg's actions make it clear that the town fathers are in his pocket. Virgil's days as the marshal are numbered. Virgil and Everett have a talk, with Everett saying that there isn't really work in Appaloosa for a guy like him. Virgil refuses to leave because Ali is there and is okay with Everett moving on if he has to. Everett has watched Ali go upstairs to Bragg's room at the hotel, obviously she had sensed the power change. She doesn't look happy about it, but she does it. The next day Everett gives a necklace to the Hispanic girl and tells her the name of the one man who he had killed without being a lawman, sounding disappointed at himself about it. He says he's leaving. He takes his horses and rides to the hotel, going into the bar and laying down his badge and a gun to the barman, 
saying that it's for Bragg. Everett then goes over to Bragg and punches him and challenges him to a duel. He then slaps him, infuriating him and insulting his pride before walking outside to wait for him. Bragg gets the gun and storms out of the hotel. Meanwhile, Everett's woman alerts Virgil that Everett is leaving, and arrives with Virgil to the hotel. Virgil asks Everett what is happening, but Everett asks him to step aside, noting that he's never asked Virgil for anything before but is asking now. The shootout happens in a second and Bragg falls dead, Everett doesn't get a scratch on him and he mounts his horse and rides out of Appaloosa. It ends with a narration from Everett saying that he gave Ali and Virgil more time to work things out and he's on the road to discovering more about himself again. If you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.